Hey scrappers, it's Audrey again with another video for this time um, my creative scrapbook and I'm guest designing again for them this month and I'm using the June kit which features a lot of the Simple Stories uh, Life and Color collection which is just awesome. Now this video kind of starts um, <laughs> after I had started laying the foundation for my page because I thought I had hit record on my camera and I didn't. So I have already um, taken the polka dotted paper which was a 12 by 12 and added a little bit of the edge on the floral piece at an angle um, on the right side and the bottom and I applied some gesso to the background um, just with a um, like a card like a, a gift card and um, swept it on the background to tone down the polka dots a little bit behind my photo. So I'm sorry that I missed that part. I'm so mad at myself that I forgot to um, click record. So anyway, here I am. I'm, I'm. These are some photos of my daughter on her seventh birthday, and she was being kind of goofy um, in the photos. This is right before she went to school, and she wanted to get all dressed up and stuff. So this um, page is about her um, at seven years old and turning seven. Every year I try to do, um, uh, around the kids' birthdays, I try to do a layout about... Um, you know, what they're into at this time in their lives and, and things about them, their little quirks or, you know, whatever. So I love the um, phrase on this 3 by 4 card from the paper, Life is Better When You're Laughing. I just thought that was so cute. And um, it just goes with her personality so well. So I am fussy cutting out a whole bunch of flowers. And, you know, I don't use a lot of the four by four or three by four cards on layouts but I really like to use those papers to go through and find little things to cut out to fussy cut out and sometimes there's some great phrases or shapes or even like that little piece that has the labels on it that came from a three by four card so um you know those papers are great if, even if you don't do like the project life type of scrapbooking or you don't use those types of things in your projects they're great for um, finding things to cut out and I love to fussy cut things out Okay, so I have um, a heart sticker that I've put down there in the bottom um, right, and I'm bringing in some of the black elements here. Um, you'll see the black heart sticker I stuck there between the photos, and you'll notice I keep going back um, throughout the video and adding more black in because I there's a lot of pattern going on here, um, a lot of prints, and I really think it needed some solid... Um, uh, dark colors for contrast and to help um, define the edges a little bit more. So I, um, you'll see I have that red heart in the bottom right and then the red heart right underneath the title card there and so I needed a little bit more red up in the top left to kind of make it flow across the page. Um, and again using things in, in uh, groups of three or in odds numbers to kind of create a flow or a triangle. This one's not really a triangle shape, but it does have a flow to it. So yeah, here's uh, these labels I am cutting out from one of those cards, and I, I absolutely love to use um, labels like this for my journaling. Okay, so here's where I decided that my photos really weren't standing out well enough against the background that I had, and I really think that that should be you know, the most important thing on the layout is for the photos to stand out. So I matted them with some black cardstock. Just I keep a whole bunch of uh, neutral scraps by my desk to use. And it really made them pop off a little bit more from the background. And then I felt like those two patterns were just a little bit too busy next to each other as well. So I'm going to add some thin black strips um, between the polka dots and the um, flower edges to, um, again, make those stand out too. So I'm just going through with my edge distressing tool, which I use all the time on just about every single page, and roughen up the edges a little bit. Sometimes when I use this tool, it like totally rips the paper, but that's okay. You can see down there in the pink paper right underneath my thumb, there's a little rip, but I kind of like that look, so it doesn't bother me. It used to, but it doesn't anymore. So I kind of... Um, you know, it, it, when I put these black strips in here, it makes it look like there's another big piece of paper underneath it, but I was just working with scraps, really, and kind of just overlapped the corner. So at first glance, it's hard to tell that it's just skinny strips, but it's a good way to add um, an outline to a piece of paper if you don't have a full sheet to put underneath.
Okay, so taking things off, putting them back on, as usual, they're probably not in the exact same spot where I had them originally, but that's all right. That butterfly is so cute too, I love that. I really, I, I really need to start um, gluing down my chipboard pieces. I just kind of um, assume that the sticker ones are going to stick on there forever, but I was just upstairs putting some old layouts away and I had a whole bunch of layouts where this chip, the chipboard pieces were um, coming off the pages because the sticky part wasn't sticky enough and they weren't staying on there. So I really got to start making myself glue them down because even though they're sticky now, um, I'm, I'm not sure that the, that glue lasts forever, but something like that quick dry glue really does last forever. So I, I really got to start using a liquid glue to keep those things stuck down. So this is pretty much the design of the page. I do go back and add um, in a couple things here. Um, there are some, um, a couple of those clear stickers that you can see there on the right. I do believe I add some of those in um, and a couple more flowers here and there. I can't remember if I actually show, if I actually use mist on this page. I'm not sure that I did. Um, because I thought it was kind of, you wouldn't really be able to see mist droplets or splatters with the polka dots in the background. So I don't even think I really added mist. If I did, it was black and it wasn't a lot. Um, so I'm just bringing in a couple more black elements, some phrase stickers along the picture and along that embellishment cluster in the bottom right. And that little piece there is going to go up in the top left. There it is. Yep, helping some black up there. I don't know if you saw what I did with that sticker, but when I get stickers off a sticker sheet, I just take some scrap paper and stick it to the back so that the back is not sticky. And then I can put it on my layout to see, I can place it on there to see where I want it so, and, and it doesn't stick to the page. And then when I'm ready to put it down where it needs to go, I just add a foam dot or something to the back of it. So that's what I do with stickers all the time. And I really wanted to incorporate a little bit of this ribbon, so I just tuck it under the side over there and I staple it on with my tiny attacher. I don't use ribbon a lot. I think it's going to be one of those things that comes back. I hope so because I have a ton of it in my stash and I haven't used it in a long time. So the only couple other things I add are I take some um, alphas from my stash to create the title that says at seven right above um, where, where you just saw my hand there. So you can see that at seven at the card and I added some faux stitching around that card to make it stand out a little bit more. And then I added a couple um, bits of zigzag stitching around the photo and a line of black stitching along the edge of the polka dot print where it meets that skinny black strip of paper. And here are some close-ups. I'm so enjoying working with this kit this month at My Creative Scrapbook. Um, please stop by the blog and check out a whole bunch of more pages. Thank you.